Hi friends, this is another uh, basic diode question. Actually, we need to find which diode is conducting and which diode is not conducting. And based on that, uh, we need to find the currents through the diodes. Uh, for this problem, we use ideal diode model, uh, which is uh, simply if the diode is conducting, the voltage drop across the diode must be zero and uh, current must be some non-zero quantity. If it is not conducting, the current through the diode must be zero. So for this kind of questions, we need to go with trial and error method. So let's uh, see now uh, D1, D2 and D3. Let's assume all the diodes are conducting all the diodes conducting. So in that case, what happens here simply see if all the diodes are conducting, so this voltage must be zero and there must be some current flowing through this direction. And if it is zero instantaneously, this current must be um, zero minus of minus five over 5 kilo ohm that must be 1 milliampere current so 1 milliampere current must be flowing through uh, this 5 kilo ohm uh, resistor and similarly this diode must be forward bias because our assumption is that all the three diodes are uh, uh, in uh, connecting mode that is forward bias action for forward bias uh, condition so here 0 volts means this is also a zero volt so in that case the current through this diode must be 5 minus 0 over 5 kilo ohm resistance so in that case uh, it is 1 milliampere again so here it is a 1 milliampere and similarly in this diode d1 so this is already 0 volts and uh, the diode is conducting uh, in um, forward bias. So this is 0 minus of minus 10 over 5. So this is 2 milliampere current. So clearly let's redraw the circuit here. So simply here it is uh, looking like this if uh, every diode is conducting. so. Uh, simply let's run quickly so it is like this and we don't know what current is uh, flowing through this uh, diode d3 actually this is d2 and this is d1 so this is 1 milliamperes and this is uh, plus 5 volt and this is uh, uh, minus 10 volt and this is uh, 5 kilo ohm and uh, this is 2 milliamperes and um, here it is uh, minus 5 volts so this is 1 milliampere and we don't know this current and uh, so clearly uh, if you apply the basic um, of current law so here the incoming current here is incoming current is just 1 milliampere but here in diode d1 it is clear that 2 milliampere current is uh, flowing. So basically we should expect some inwards current at this point that must be flowing through D2 in reverse direction. So which is uh, uh, against to our uh, assumption so that D2 is clearly reverse biased. So D2 is reverse biased based on our assumption so let's find out if it is true uh, we should check for the uh, Kirchhoff's current law so let's see again the same question again we'll solve for uh, d2 is off and uh, d1 and d2 sorry d3 is in forward condition so in that case the circuit uh, looks something like this so it 
it will be some uh, independent circuit this is a plus 5 volt and here it is the diode and here it is the another 5 kilo ohm uh, resistance here 5 kilo ohm resistance and here it is uh, minus 10 volts connected now uh, because the diode d2 is uh, uh, reverse biased so it will act as a open circuit so the circuit breaks into two pieces basically two independent circuits so the another part of the circuit looks like this so simply here again uh, minus 5 volts will come here so let's check now so this is d1 and this is d3 so let's check now uh, if the uh, uh, diodes d1 d3 are in, uh, really in a forward biased condition so in this case if you simply uh, calculate the current in this direction if the diode d1 is forward biased so that is 5 minus of minus 10 over 5 plus 5 kilo ohm so this is milliamperes in the range of milliamperes so this is 15 over 10 so basically 1.5 milliampere current is flowing through d1 so in that case uh, let's um, uh, see if the diode voltage vd is um, uh, voltage across uh, the diode is um, uh, basically positive or negative so at this point 5 minus 5 times 1.5 is is what this voltage is 5 minus 7.5 which is minus 2.5 volts so and at this point we'll calculate the voltage again so at this point here it is uh, 5 times 1.5 minus of minus 10 so basically it is um, um sorry this is not minus of minus 10 only minus 10 will be there so it is 7.5 minus 10 which is equals to uh, minus 2.5 volt again so the diode is forward biased so that uh, both anode and uh, cathode is having its same uh, potential level voltage level that is minus 2.5 volts which is uh, already expected because uh, the diode is in forward biased condition so here in this case if the diode is in uh, in case of d3 diode d3 Let's calculate what the current is. So the current must be 0 minus of minus 5 over this is 5 kilo ohm obviously. So obviously it is 5 volt. Sorry, 5 milli amperes. Sorry, 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 sorry. It is a 1 milli ampere current. So if you take uh, it clearly all the 5 volt is dropping across this 5 kilo ohm resistor because 5 kilo ohm multiplied over uh, with uh, 1 milliampere it is 5 volt so clearly d3 is in fb forward bias mode so it is clear that if the diode is conducting uh, in forward bias mode it uh, voltage drop must be zero for uh, ideal condition in no case the cathode voltage more than anode voltage so in this case our assumption uh, if you go by assumption uh, like all d1 d2 d3 are in forward biased so it is clearly getting d2 is reverse biased because it's anode voltage is less than cathode voltage so we have gone for uh, another assumption and which is also validated in this way we can solve uh, any diode problems basically for conduction okay thank you very much Please subscribe my channel.